So with this video I'm going to show you how to put both uh, two images into one file which is what is required for week one assignment four. The first thing you need to do is to open a new file so um, go file new and go ahead and type in the correct file name for the classroom and make sure your document profile is set to web that means you'll automatically get an RGB color space and um, the uh, document will ha automatically have an 800 by 600 pixel dimension but we'll, we will be changing that later on but not to worry too much about it. So you click OK I'm just going to zoom out a little bit there we go and then you need to place your JPEG so I'm assuming that you've done your designs and you've saved them to web as JPEGs and then you need to place them into this new document, the one that you're going to submit. So you go File, Place and put that on the um, on the board there and it doesn't have to be precise okay. but we'll, we're going to work this out a bit more later. I'm going to zoom out again and then you need to place your next one Okay, so then I would be inclined to select both of the designs and click on the um, center align button here and that will just make sure that they're neatly aligned. Then you want the artboard to stretch across both of them. So you need to click on the artboard button and um, artboard tool in the toolbar which is this one down here and then the artboard will become um, fixable, so <laughs> fixable, it's not quite the right word, but you can move it, resize it, resizable, that's a better word. Okay, so as you can see here, I'm just dragging the artboard down so it includes both designs, and if you want to add a little bit of space around the designs, you can do that, but you don't have to, that's just up to you. Now you shouldn't have to label the designs at all, so don't worry about adding any text to the designs. Um, and so that's looking fine just like that. And then you can go File, Save for Web and Devices. And if I zoom out here, you'll see that uh, both designs are on the one file. One is on top of the other, which is what is required. And uh, that's all I need. Make sure your JPEG is set to uh, maximum quality. As you can see, it's not too big, so that's fine. And then just click Save. Um, the image size. Mm. Actually, now that the image, I stretch the size a bit, the image size is a little bit large, so you just want to make sure the width is no more than 800 pixels, and you can fix that there just by um, changing the width to 800 there and clicking Apply. And uh, that's it, and then you just save. And that's the one that you'll upload.